Hello Australia and hello world, this is Jamie the Crypto Koala and um, we'll just have a look at the markets for the week and what coins have been doing well so Bitcoin, Bitcoin's been just going steady and out there and Bitcoin Cash has had a good a good sudden rise, let's have a look at that one yep it's had a good jump up about 10% this week which is pretty good and um, I reckon it's because it's being used as a safe haven because while this Sedgwick 2 is going to come out and then maybe after that it's going to dip down uh, EOS, now I noticed EOS has been doing pretty good this week it's a, another gainer this week so yeah that's gone up a fair bit, about 9% uh, Yes, yeah, it's had a good climb this week. Now the reason for this, I reckon, and I saw on Steam earlier on in the week, is that it's getting ready for its phase three of five, and could be a reason why it's getting a good, good, um, good pump in it at the moment. And um, yeah, just just some features that's coming out. Um, well, being a fan of Dan for a while, been interested in EOS. It's been interesting ride for for sure. The feature involves verifying that Mikhail uh, hashing of tran transcriptions is proper. Phase 3 testing and security audits winter 2017 spring 18 during phase heavy testing for focus on finding security issues and bugs. So, yeah, that could be why because it's going through phase 3 or 5 at the moment for EOS and um, Vertcoin. Vertcoin is another one that's had a good steady and um, a good sharp rise at 17.54% which is pretty good and this is a new one that's just come on the market I haven't seen much of Vertcoin before and um, I know this is something that I'd want to get onto CoinSpot um, now this is the reason most probably why it's been doing so well Legend Nano S has just um, announced that it's going to be added to its family of um, coins that you can access uh, access with uh, Ledger Nano S, so you can storm the, the Ledger Nano S. So just have a look at some of the other coins as well. Um, Dash, Ethereum, Komodo, uh, Ripple, Stratus, Arc, Pivx, Via Via Coin. So yeah, that's some that's pretty good news coming from uh, Ledger Ledger Nano. Now one of the coins I've been talking about, I done a video the other day on Smart Cash and saying how good Smart Cash is on the market and something to look out for. And then they go down and drop down to uh, 32%. So yeah, I'm a bit shocked about, about that. But yeah, I think it will bounce back. Just have to uh, just have to hope it will. Uh, but saying that, it's most pretty good buying price. So yeah, something to look at guys. Let's have a look at some news here. Um, now Russia uh, and the agriculture getting an ICO upgrade to boost production in Russia. So there's an ICO in Russia looking to get into agriculture. Well, we're starting to innovate. Oh, Russia's banned agriculture company. I can't even say that name. Agricultural company is looking to utilize a revolutionary blockchain technology to help fund a much needed dairy farm. So, yep, milk coin. This is some funny named coins out there. So, I think recently they're trying to put in Russia a painting for vodka. So, yeah, well, the vodka coin. So, yeah, that'd be an interesting one. Yeah, Russia's been pretty good news coming out of Russia recently. Uh, some good news, another good news about Leisure, Leisure, and um, Leisure Nano is their partnership with Intel. So, yeah, they're going to go have a partnership with Intel. And, this came out a few days ago, uh, which is really exciting news. So yeah, uh, technology into a partnership with the Vertical Country Hardware st Startup from Leisure as late as October 2000, 2017. New solutions for storing cryptocurrency holding under the collaboration. Yes, so Leisure Nano, you beauty, you're getting there. A lot more better news there. Some bad news for Bitcoin Gold. This is going to ha happen with all hard forks. They just get vulnerable to begin with. Um, the Bit Bitcoin Cash with the DDoS, DDoS attacks. 
and get some news there so yeah I'm sure that they'll fix them security for flaws and over the, the weeks and months I'm sure yet yeah. so they're actually on it they're noticing it and then um, they're mostly really working to to resolve them problems some really good news coming from Australia and um, some Australian news from one of the universities here that these guys are they claim that to build the fastest blockchain technology in the world which is brilliant Australia invented the Wi-Fi so if they can come up with the fastest blockchain technology in the world and hopefully the four big banks ANZ and um, Combank NAB what's the other one Westpac Hopefully they see this article and they'll be like, okay, maybe we should start looking to put this into our um, our banking systems. And the yeah, University of um, S S Sydney, Red Belly Blockchain is called. So Red Belly Blockchain, I'll be watching you guys and watching how you progress with this um, fine work you guys are doing. So yeah, some really good news there. Here's some other news here at uh, CDC IBM announced a uh, research partnership focused on blockchain artificial uh, artificial intelligence so maybe blockchain meets um, Skynet something to watch out for could be something with Elon Musk involved now, so in what we imagine will become one of the most quickly re realized use cases for blockchain technology CDC and IBM have partnered to research how the former can develop a blockchain based system to allow healthcare providers to more easily share information about individual patients and data about um, burgeoning pandemics so isn't this what um, patient Tory is already doing and I think uh, Ether Hill is looking at doing the two ICOs yeah okay guys right so that's the um the markets and news for the week i hope you've enjoyed my video and um, yeah, please like subscribe i'm on twitter i'm on steam it guys i've still got my near competition going so get involved on in that hope you enjoy the rest of the week and i'll see you later